bigger fish right here. This might be just the fish I've been looking for. What's going on y'all? Welcome back to James the Outdoors. This morning I'm back here trout fishing again with a little bit of a twist this time. I found some live mullet. I'm hoping that these live mullet will put me on an even bigger trout than I caught in the last video. We'll see. I mean this time of year the mullet have been gone for like a month or so and so these trout might not be expecting to see a mullet. Maybe it'll be just the thing that they want to see and maybe we'll have a good day. Y'all wish me luck. This time of year, it gets kind of hard to find these mullets. So you got to go and hit little teeny creeks, canals. Got one spot here that I've hit before, like in the past years and produced pretty good for me. So I'm hoping that I can find some mullets stacked up in here today. It's harder too, cause today is overcast. And so you can't see them as well as you normally would be able to. So hope that I hit that school. Oh yeah, baby, look at that. It is absolutely loaded with mullet. That's huge. That's so big, that's exactly what we need. Here we go, we're hooked up this morning. A beautiful morning just breaking day just looking for that bobber could not find it all right shook my mullet off come here buddy yeah about 16 inches it's crazy that it just goes to show you that everything is going to eat a mullet Quick release. We'll see ya. This bobber's going up, down, up, down. Let's see if there's anything there. It's down right this second. Oh yeah. Oh, that might be a little bit bigger fish than that last one that we just caught. I'm trying not to talk too loudly. There's a bunch of people around me and I don't want to be annoying. Yeah, he's certainly a little bit bigger. Dang it, they keep kicking my mullet off of there. Yeah, about 17 inches. Still kind of a little guy, not that big trout that we're looking for. Send him on back. It is well past what I would deem to be mullet season. So these fish are probably happy to see these things. I hadn't seen them in a couple months and I'm putting these baits out there and it's just like, boom, almost automatic. But, you know, how could you resist that? I'll give them a second to eat it because they already had two bobbers down. It seemed like the fish was there, just couldn't hook them. Maybe it's taking them a little bit longer with this cold water to swallow that mullet, so. All right, time to hit them. Yep, I hooked them that time. Oh, this could be a nicer trout too. I said that last two times and <laughs> ended up with like 16 and 17 inch trout, but I think I'm actually serious this go around that this is something a little bit better. Yeah, he's hanging down. Yeah, this is a bigger, bigger fish. Not even prepared with my net. Oh yeah, look at that pretty trout. Oh! <laughs> look at that beauty right there. That fish is probably 23 inches long, man. That's a very pretty, pretty fish. There we go, guys. That's exactly what I needed. Right at 22 inches, just a big, fat, healthy trout. Like I like to do. Take and send him back. Yes, sir. It's fun like this, watching these bobbers. Back in the old days, there used to be so many people that fish in this spot from the bank and everywhere else. There's just bobbers everywhere. It looked like Christmas time.
another just thick, thick trout. Come on. Oh, hop right out my neck. While I was releasing him, I had another bobber go down here. It's kind of odd the way they're taking it today. It's just like bobbing under and up and down, and they're just kind of slowly feeding that bait. But let's see. Yep, hooked up. Hard to tell yet. I don't think he's uh, realized that he's hooked yet. Been a good bite. This is already about my fifth trout this morning out here. Yeah, another nice fish. Another fish, 19, 20 inches. Get a quick measurement here. He's about 19 inches. Turned out to be a great morning. You can kind of see why the trout might be interested in biting that. That bobber's down, but it's been out there for just like a couple seconds. I might need to make some bigger bobbers. I think these mullet are just kind of deciding that they're gonna do what they want. They can pull these bobbers under. Well, it's not coming back up. I got to check for a fish. Nope, no fish on there. Just a tank of a mullet. Oh, I lied, there was a fish. I just hadn't reeled all the slack out yet. Bigger fish, bigger fish. Caught a lot of these 17 and 18s, but this is a, I'm guessing at least a 20 inch trout. He feels pretty nice. Stay down, don't come up in the water. Yes, sir, right into the net. Yo, I'm having a heck of a morning here. This is my second trout over 20 inches. I guess when you get lucky and it's the middle of winter time and you find some live mullet, they hadn't seen them in a few months, they're just ready to go, tearing it up. I've already could have caught my limit about two times, but you know, just letting all these fish go. It's a good thing to release over 20. I'm on board with that program. Bigger fish, this rod tip. I know it's a little more sensitive than the others, but I still think this is a bigger trout. Make sure I got my drag set right. If you watched my other trout video, you saw that I had a little incident, shall we say. My friend Emily did. She lost a big trout, snapped the line. Yeah, I hadn't seen any runs like that today. That's the first one of those I've seen bigger fish right here this might be just the fish i've been looking for i hope he stays on there Look at that fat boy right there. Thank you. A tank. Look at that. It's a beautiful fish. He's just thick right across his back. Put up a great fight to pull and drag. You got to love that. It's absolutely awesome. I love catching a big old trout like that. That fish is just powerful, man. It's so much fun. And he's longer than my ruler. My ruler goes to 22. That fish is uh, pushing 23 inches, man. It's a real, real nice fish. I'm having just what I would call a banner morning of trout fish, and I've had some really, really nice fish. You know, several over 20 inches. It's a great morning. Get a good release on these fish. Release some of those bigger trout. It's gonna do us all a favor here in the future when they start reproducing, laying all those eggs. More trout for years to come. I was just finishing up and I got another bobber down. Let's see if we can get another fish today. Yep, sure enough, hooked up. Got this Walmart special, boys. It's the trout killer. Okay, this is the tiniest trout of the day. Maybe it is time to call it a day and head on out of here. Thanks for watching, y'all. I'm winding down for the day. The wind is picking up here. I'm getting ready to head on out, but it has been absolutely just a great trout day. Those live mullet, man, they drive those trout crazy. If you want to check out the rig that I used, I did a video a couple weeks ago on live baiting with, you know, just some gudgeons that I had. But I went over in more detail of the actual bobber rig and the slip bobbers that I'm using. If you want to go check that out, I'll put a link in there or just search back to my most recent video. 
Hope you guys will stick around for some more videos. I got more trout videos coming, a striper video plan, and then when springtime hits, all kinds of stuff. So y'all stick around, tons of videos coming your way.